Welcome to the Division of Clinical and Translational Research Orientation videos. I am Dr. Bishal Gubran, a research fellow, and today's topic is going to be how to write a case report. Case report is actually one of the oldest traditions of medicine, dating back since ancient Egyptian time when they used to write interesting cases on papyrus. An essay on the shaking palsy written by Dr. Parkinson led to the discovery of the disease carrying the author's name, Parkinson's disease. So what is a case report? It's a description of important scientific observations that are missed or undetectable in clinical trials. This includes a rare or unusual clinical condition, a previously unreported or unrecognized disease, unusual side effect to therapy or response to treatment, or a new imaging modality, diagnostic test. Generally, it should be short and focused and have learning objectives. What are the must-have factors? Unexpected association between diseases or symptoms. Unexpected event in the course of observing or treating a patient. Finding that shed new light on the possible pathogenesis of a disease or an adverse effect. Presentation, diagnosis or management of new and emerging diseases. New associations or variation in disease processes. How to start? Consent. You have to obtain an informed consent. Information collection. Collect as much information as you can. Case history, physical, HPI, labs, imaging, etc. Scientific publication. Do a literature review. Select journal to publish in according to the impact factor and the subject. Review sample of published case report so you can follow the format and review instructions for authors. Elements of a case report. Title, abstract, which should include all the key points, introduction or background, case, discussion, conclusion, and then references. Let's take an example. The title is the first component of a case report that would be read. Therefore, it should be concise, informative, and relevant to the subject. The ideal title should attract the reader's attention and state the focus on the particular issue. So let's take an example from a case report done by our team here at Larkin. Preserving the brain function in a comatose patient with septic hyperpyrexia, a case report. You can see that it's informative yet succinct. You can see that it's using keywords like preserving brain function, septic hyperpyrexia, which uh, makes it easy to search for and retrieve, even electronically, for anyone who is interested in these subjects. So informative and keywords. Then the background. The background should start with an introduction that should be concise and immediately attract the attention. However, the introduction should provide background information on why the case is worth reading and publishing. So here you can see they did a general overview of the issue. Fever is a natural regulatory protective mechanism through which the human body counteracts physiological insults. Causes of fever include this and this and that. So it's a general overview of the issue, background information. Then the background should also include unique learning point and contribution. As you can see, here we demonstrate the beneficial effect of neuroprotective agents in fever regulation. That's like a new, unique learning point and contribution that this case report would help you achieve. Then comes the case presentation. Case presentation or case description is the focus of the case report. The case is best presented in chronological order and in enough detail for the reader to establish his or her own conclusion about the case validity. The current medical condition and medical history, including relevant family history, should be clearly described in chronological order. Everything including the physical exam, investigative results, imaging, etc. So let's take an example. Detailed description. You should include the chief complaints, the HPI, the physical examination, and any treatment or intervention. Discussion. The discussion 
is the most important section of the case report. It serves to summarize and interpret the key findings of the case report to contrast the case report with what is already known in the literature and justify its uniqueness. It should also derive new knowledge and applicability to practice and draw clinically useful conclusions. So here you can see that it has more specific review of literature. It has the case unique points. In this example, significant in this case is, and then they put the unique points. Then in the discussion also, you should have the learning points. As you can see highlighted in yellow, is an alternate explanation or hypothesis or mechanism. Hence, we theorize that the inhibition of action potential by utilization of levetiracetam halted the progression of neuronal damage. You should always include figures such as imaging or tables and graphs to further elucidate your point. Limitations. In limitation, you should put what the, case, what the limitation of this case presentation that you're trying to show is. In this case, it was the lack of an MRI. Then we come to the last paragraph, the conclusions. In the last paragraph, the author should provide the main conclusion of the case report based on the evidence reviewed in the discussion section, a concise statement of the lesson to be learned from the case, with justifiable evidence-based recommendations. This section should always be concise and not exceed one paragraph. So here is the take-home messages you should always include in it in the conclusion. Some people just read the conclusion in the case report. Recommendation to physicians and researcher. So the take-home message here was, physicians should be aware that the combination of hyperparexia and cognitive uh, changes including coma causes poor recovery. And then recommendation to phys uh, physicians and researcher, the utilization of this and this may provide neuroprotective and neurorestorative effects. Here's also another part of the recommendations. Our case depicts the successful use of both medications in restoring cognitive function following hyperparexia with extensive comatose state. So that way, if any physician is searching for these key points, he can arrive at a conclusion and he can use that in his case too, if it matches the criteria. Should also include future implication. Further research should be um, done to explore this and this and that. Finally, you arrive at the references which you include to support your discussion and the rest. I will conclude with Sir William Osler, known by many as the father of modern medicine, who once stated that physicians should always note and record the unusual, publish it, place it on permanent record as a short, concise note. And he said that such communications are always of value. Good luck writing your case report and thank you very much.